this is a tree of life heart shaped uh, decorative pillow which we are going to make today let's see what we need to make this pillow hello everyone ready to have some fun with buttons let's see what we are going to make today this is a tree of life heart shaped uh, decorative pillow which we are going to make today. Let's see what we need to make this pillow. We need a tree trunk, HTVD can, and then we need some buttons. We need our embroidery thread, needle, a big eye needle, and most importantly, we need two pieces of heart shape cut out from the fabric. So I have used one plain and one uh, printed. It's up to you if you want to use for both the sides plain or if you want to use both the sides uh, printed. Only thing is if it is uh, printed in both sides, this your design will not show really well. First step is going to be transferring your decal. Your HTV decal will be transferred onto this fabric using your iron heat press or your easy press. On how to transfer the decal onto a fabric, refer to my video uh, on how to transfer a decal onto fabric. Once that is done, you have your design already transferred to the fabric. We are going to decorate it with buttons this time. So when it comes to your imagination, sky is the limit. So today I'm going to show you a few variations before we do our actual design, how you can decorate it. So one thing is, one thing I'm going to show you is, okay, let's use two pieces here. Okay. I have some bigger, larger size buttons. You can place them anywhere you want. So you can design it like this. Oh, I have this designed buttons. You can use anything. You have these heart shaped buttons. You can use any buttons and decorate this. Today we are going to be using these buttons. So let's place them. place your buttons the way you want we are going to go ahead and take out these buttons but before that I'm going to show you something I have numbered my buttons so number one is blue number two is orange three green and four yellow so before I take the buttons out when I take out each button, I am going to write down the number here, which one is going to wear, go where. So here it's going to be 2. So when you put the button on, you will not be able to see that. So it's okay. So 1, 1, 2. Okay. As you can see, all numbered so now when you have to put the button back stitch the button back it's easy for you to follow okay let's let's attach the buttons to this design now you're going to go ahead and take your thread so this time from your embroidery thread you're going to use only three strands and either using a threader or just the normal way you're gonna okay. 
let's put the knot take the thread between these two fingers make a loop twirl it push so you made the knot when we start to attach the button we are going to start from one side and go like this okay so first one is number one that is blue so I'm gonna go and start with this one first I'm going to show you how to attach the button put your needle like this it's coming out go ahead take your button and put it through one of the circles take it and go down and then on the same hole come out one more time go out now we are going to come out from the opposite circle So you did it two, two times. So this is how it's going to look. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and bring the needle to the other spot where we are going to put the button. And here again it's a one. I'm going to put the button. Now, very important, now we are going to go, we did this button, this next button is going to be here. So from under, I am going to go ahead and just feel that area and bring the needle out from here. So one thing you have to be very careful about is, when you do this, make sure your thread, this thread does not get pulled like this. If that happens, your surface of your quotient will be like this. It won't be smooth. So it has to be, you have to be very careful that it's straight like this. Okay, now we are going to go ahead. Now here number three. Number three is green. So I'm going to go and take a green and put this. We are done attaching the buttons and you can see that I've gone ahead and done a running stitch around the trunk. I've left a small part to show you how exactly it's done. I have three strands on my needle and I will be doing the running stitch along the edges of the trunk like this. between make sure that your needle does not get pulled I meant the thread thread does not get pulled okay so is how we are going to do it 
it's a bit tricky when I'm trying to show it close up for you. Okay. Okay, we are done. So this is how the back side is gonna look. So now this is in the middle. It's not under a rib, under a button. So when we are closing this, what we are going to do, I'm gonna take my needle. This is mainly to make sure that there's a knot and the thread does not come out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and weave my needle through these stitches. Just two, three times is enough. The reason I'm doing this is if you do it the regular way, which I'm going to show you anyways, it's going to show in this side. So if you do it, yeah, good. And you can just snip it off from this edge. Let's say you end up behind a button. Like this. Now you have this button and you're going to finish your thread behind this. In this case, you can just go ahead put your needle in take it out just taking few strands onto the needle and look for your loop and make a knot do one more your loop put the needle through and finish it off you're good see okay I'm going to snip this. Okay, this goes here. Our next step is to stitch both our heart pieces together. We are going to put both the good sides together. Keep it. So for this, we can either use a sewing machine or we can do with hand even though I'm going to do, complete it with the sewing machine right now I'm going to show you if you don't have a sewing machine how you can do the edges using backstitch so if you can see I have drawn a line a guideline keeping one fourth of an inch for me to do the backstitch this is very important to make sure that you get a straight stitch, straight and even stitch. So the first step is going to be we are going to put these two together and then use some dot pins and pin it so that it does not move when you are doing the swing. One more thing which I forgot to mention when we are stitching, I am going to leave about 3 inches gap from here so that we can turn this the other way and insert the pillow fill. We'll do the knot. Since this is the place which I'm going to leave the gap from here to here, I'm going to start from here. So, this is go, and I'm going to go back halfway and put my needle down and go back. Go. Take it out and then I'm going to go closer to this stitch, put the needle in 
this is practically this is running stitch but you are every time you make the stitch you go back by one stitch and then I'm gonna look for where it ends put the needle a little bit So right now as I showed you, since I showed you how to do it with the needle, for the sake of time I'm going to go and stitch it with the sewing machine for now. Before we turn this, there's few things we need to do. This edge, we have to snip it as close as possible to the stitch. And then I will put few steps like this in between, mainly because this is not a straight fabric. So if it is like a straight, like a rectangular piece, a square, you don't have to put snips in between. But whenever you are working with curved edges, you should always put a snip. So when you turn, it's not bulky. It's time to turn it. I'm going to snip off all the loose edges. Okay. I'm going to focus on this edge first and then take out the rest. you leave about three inches you can nicely put your hand inside and smoothen the edges heart shape pillow is ready <coughs> okay now so feel your edges touch them Make them smooth like this. Give it a nice press. So you will do this for the whole cushion. All around like this. So in between I will fold like this and make the crease mainly because so it makes this design stay out well. It's done. Now it's time to add the pillow fill. Let's start filling it. So you're going to just take a handful, take the pillow fill and start putting it in. Close this open opening. Okay, if I have my knot. Okay. If 
twice tart I will use two dot pins here and Hold this, take your needle, start it from inside and just feel an edge. Now I am in this side, I am going to go towards the other side to the red, put my needle through and come back to this and then go back to the red come to the printed one from the printed again go to the red it's like kind of like crisscross you are going from this to that Once you are done your loop, put it through, finish it, you are done. Yes, your tree of life heart shaped pillow is ready. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, um, right now, I'm going to use blanket stitch or chain stitch and I'm going to do these edges and finish it off. There you go, the final product. As you can see, I have done the blanket stitch around. This is how it's going to look once the blanket stitch is done. Hope this video was beneficial for you and you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you. Remember to subscribe to our channel.